Morning, everybody. J&A Review, and today we're at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Now, today we're going to be looking at a 2023 Heartland Sundance, model number 293RL. So this is this is going to be a good one here. The length on this Sundance is 34 feet 2 inches. The dry weight is 7,069 pounds and the hitch weight is 954. Yes, now this one, pretty good size. This is pretty good size. Um, good size. And you're gonna love the layout once we get on the inside. But let's start right here with some storage. Very nice pass through storage. You'll see that it is prepped for the tire link system. You've got some couple of dump station dump areas right there now i'm going to mention something now they put the i, I take it this got to be the black tank flush here mm -hmm. because here's your city water now they put them here instead of in instead your instead of in the, in uh, the side, side. Yeah. yeah that is different i think i like that that doesn't go actually through your wall area okay anything we need to look at back there well, just the electrical and the cable and uh, satellite hookups are back here. Ah, yes. And of course, they all have the uh, Asdale Composite siding on siding. these. All right, well, let's go around and take a look at the other side. Very nice, sharp graphics. I like those. Here on the other side of your pass-through, you are gonna have a motion light. It is prepped for an inverter. Your solar control is going to be in here. You will see that this is gonna have um, power stabilizers. Now this unit has got two awnings. One is a 10 foot and the other is going to be 11. So let me see if I can get you a side view here so you can see what this one looks like. Let's go right inside and take a look. Now guys, please keep in mind that we don't work for the dealership, so we don't have exact pricing, but we will have all of their information in our description below. So just give them a call or click on their website and you can get all of that information. Wow. Yeah, quick look inside. You know what is really interesting? Our very first video that we did a little over two years ago mm -hmm. was this model. Oh. It was a, this model, but it was a, a 2021, 2021 version. Model. Yes, it was. Yeah. So, so they, they've changed the uh, the cores and stuff a lot. So it's exciting to see the updates on it. Well, let's start right back here at the back. You are going to have a trifold sofa. Yep. Nice big windows across the back storage up here all the way across all the way across and oh yeah blackout shades like super now, nice this, this big window I, I love i don't know we love mm -hmm. the rear the rear living like this you were going to have um end tables on both sides with electric and this is very similar to uh your traditional fifth wheel yeah layout so coming right on around in your front slide here you're going to have theater seating cup holders um let's see it's not power so it's going to have a power chute pull parachute what did i say power chute <laughs> i have not had enough caffeine this morning your dinette is going to be right here and it will also make into some additional sleeping they have left the bottom open so you can slide storage totes under there if you would like. Now, when you take a seat in your theater seating, Sansui, we have a nice TV that does pull out, pivot around, sound bar right beneath it, and an electric fireplace for those cooler mornings. Mm -hmm. This uh, this particular unit is going to have venting in the floor. In the floor, yep. Um, nice island here, oh. and you got this really neat accent lighting in there that's pretty cool. that is just neat uh this is not solid surface countertop but it is a sealed edge so very nice countertops pantry area all the way down to the floor right back here you're gonna have a little more storage right next to your microwave 
Okay. Yep. Little microwave. Hood range. And you've got a three burner cooktop with an oven that with is also an air fryer. Air fryer. Wow. So. How do you like the contrast between bottoms and the upper cabinets? Now, per personally, I like that. Um, I wish you guys would leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the darker cabinets on the bottom and lighter cabinets on the top. Oh, look. And there is something there. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that'd be great for baking pans. Let's turn around and show you the rest of this island. Big single basin sink. Oh. Cabinets. Wow. Hiding okay. some of your plumbing and stuff back well, here. Of course. So. But this one is definitely large enough to put your uh, garbage, garbage can in. That's cool. Hey. And we've got a 12 volt compressor fridge. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Hey. And you've got your donut bar. Uh, donut? <laughs> can it? Yes. All the way across. Got a plug in right there. It's got a light under it. Um, I think we have pointed out that Sundance has upgraded, um, updated their backsplash, so a little different pattern going on. Four drawers. drawers and a little cabinet. Your fuse panel is going to be down here, and your controls right up there. Here is your first AC. First AC. All right, awesome. let's move down the hall. All right, well, Jeremy is six feet tall and uh, Sundance has got a, a little bit of a barrel ceiling. Mm -hmm. So that combined with your skylight gives you plenty of headroom. Oh, yes. You got a curved um, shower curtain there, so extra elbow space. Nice shelf here with some hooks. And it's gonna be right above your foot flush toilet. You've got some open nice linen place, space huh? there. Roll up some towels and put yeah. them in there. It's not real deep, but I bet you could get a lot of stuff in it. Medicine cabinet here. This is going to be above your sink, which is a little bit of ankle, so that gives you some more counter space. A little storage there, and you've got three nice size drawers going down here. And you have the heat and vent in the uh Yes, in the cabinetry bottom of the cabinet in here. this time in here. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's head down here to the master bath uh, bedroom. This is going to have a queen size bed. Go ahead and show you your second AC unit up here and the control for it is right there at the head of the bed. Storage all the way across the top. Yep. And a wardrobe hanging on both sides. These do have USB ports at the back. Yep. And a plug-in down here mm -hmm. that will work off of the solar. solar. These also have these neat little openings here, so if you need a CPAP or if you need to access your phone for any reason, it'll be right there within easy reach. And like always, we'll... Yes. It's got a little bit of storage got up a little on top. Storage, but never fear, you've got all this big opening under here, so your laundry baskets and everything will slide right here. They do put fence in the floor back here. I have to say, this is something new that they've been doing. This is new. Um, uh, you can, you'll see you that can you, access yes, it, you can, yes. you can access it from here. Before this has been solid, solid under yeah. there. So okay. just want to point that out. And you have even more storage. I'm going to hand this off so you can see it. What all you got in there? Got hanging a hanging storage. storage right here. And that is nice. Three drawers. Yep. That's a good drawer right there, big size. That is awesome. If you want to mount a TV, it will go right up there. So you see that your cable and electrical is already in place. Ooh, very nice. Oh, and this does have a sliding door to access your bedroom. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, Heartland Sundance Rear Living model, the dealership's information will be down in our description along you know, with their website, telephone number. Get on our website and find the pricing, maybe, hopefully. I don't even know if it's on there or not. I'm pretty sure it is. But uh, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up, and also follow us on Facebook.
Thanks, everybody. 